roll up towards Buffalo, we are, uh, we just pulled into a rest area just before we, uh, attempt to make, uh, a push up into the, uh, storm zone. It is Wednesday, uh, January 30th, and, uh, there's a big storm up that way. There's a truck van off the, off the I-90. And uh, we're gonna do our best to avoid I-90 and uh, try and push our way through with a storm. Um, because, quite frankly, you can ban trucks and you can shut down roads and whatnot, but the reality is, truckers out here, yes, we do keep driving sometimes. Because you know what? We don't get paid to sit here and wait for the storm to end. And um, we've driven through it all. Um, and if you have enough experience out there, um, you know how you should drive for the situation. And, you know, if it's really, really bad, yeah, and you're not comfortable, by all means, pull off and stop. Uh, but, you know, these trucks, especially if you got a good load on, you know, you can get through it. You know, you just take your time and you keep your senses about you. And uh, you pay attention. That's all. That's all you have to do. Um, and uh, if, if you do have a little experience in winter driving, you know, I've been up over mountains. I've been, you know, through all kinds of snowy conditions. So, you know, this should just be another walk in the park. So, we're gonna head up right now towards Danville. Attention! A new important message has arrived. And that's my computer message uh, telling me I can get fuel there. Um, I'm going to fill the tank so we're uh, completely full of fuel uh, before we head into the storm zone. That way we're safe. Even if, if we do get stuck, uh, we'll have a good two days worth of fuel. Maybe maybe three if we're sitting there idle the whole time. But uh, I don't foresee that happening. So let's hit the road. Let's get going. So here we are in Dansville, New York, and uh, we really haven't gotten into it yet. Uh, we stopped off here to top off the fuel tanks. So whatever we do encounter, we're going into it with plenty of uh, plenty of idle time. So got myself something warm to put in the belly, hot cup of tea, and. Uh, we're going to keep on trucking down the road. Let's go find some snow.
West Seneca, Chikawaga line. All winter storm warnings are also canceled, but wind chill advisories are still in effect until 11 a.m. this morning. Expect wind chills as low as 20 to 25 below zero. All right, well. As for road closures, Route 219 and Route 400 have been reopened. And, uh, in today's episode, we're getting ready to hit the road again. We were just home for a couple days because of the, uh, uh, the winter storm that hit western New York, where I live. Um, we did our best to, to get through it, at least to get up here at home, and uh, up to where we had to deliver. And uh, we had a little mistake with paperwork, um, but uh, it didn't make a huge difference because uh, there were uh, travel bans passed. Um, where uh, no trucks were allowed to uh, go down the throughway um, from here all the way to the Pennsylvania line. And my next load is going right that way. So we took a uh, day and a half off uh, to wait for them to lift the ban. And about 9 o'clock this evening, or yesterday, uh, they lifted the ban. So now we're good to go. It's 1.30 in the morning on February 1st, and uh, we're going to hit the road. And hopefully it'll be clear sailing all the way. It's obviously going to be super, super cold, but uh, it's nice and warm in the truck. So let's get on it and hit the road. So we're at North Ampat, we made our delivery, we made our pickup for our next load, and we're good to go. Just doing a little tug check of the trailer, make sure it's all secured properly. And uh, we put straps and stuff in the back, so we're good to go. Now uh, let's see how far we can get tonight before we get super tired. It's always the trouble when you have uh, days like this where uh, spend the day with uncertainty as to when you're going to get back to work. And, uh, it's really, uh, I don't know. It's one of those things that you got to kind of just get over with the job. You know, you're home, so you want to try and take advantage of the time you have with your kids and family. But at the same time, got to get back out and make some money otherwise uh, otherwise you're just not making anything that's the whole point isn't it out here make a living so even though we were awake all day long travel of man got lifted so now we got to work Well, that's it for today's episode if you like what you saw then by all means smash on that like button and if you want to leave a comment I am more than happy to get feedback on how my episodes are going and I love to hear how everyone is doing if you would like to subscribe to our channel at any point in the video you can click on that little watermark right down there that says truck route and that'll subscribe you to our page and if you want notifications click on the bell and you'll get a notification every time we upload new content onto the channel so thanks for watching hope to see you again soon and we'll see you down the highway